I'm over here like, what if I just started my video with my turkey call? Happy Thanksgiving, my gorgeous ones. I hope that you are having a wonderful, this is going up in the morning, so I hope you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving morning. Um, if you're watching this sometime throughout the day, it means that you wanted a little escape time. Um, maybe you just needed to get away from all the, the chaos of the family and the food and everything, and I appreciate you watching this. I don't know if there'll be that many on this day, but if you are doing it, then just pretend like I'm there with with you giving you a big hug and a thanks to you so this is a really fun video it is a collab my friend dubs a beauty diary asked me if i wanted to be a part of this um i did a collab not that long ago and i thought it was really fun a great idea i did not have planned a video for Thanksgiving and I thought, why not? So I'm going to be answering some Thanksgiving themed questions today. These videos just kind of help you guys get to know me better, you know, just like who I, I really am. And I'm also going to be creating a Thanksgiving eyeshadow look with a palette. So um, if you want to see me come up with a little Thanksgiving look, if you want to get to know more about me a la Thanksgiving Turkey Day, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so actually the very last question, number 15, was, wasn't really like a question, it was more of a prompt to show the eyeshadow palette you're using and your look. So I'm just gonna show you guys right now, straight out the get-go of what I'm gonna be using as I'm answering the questions and as I'm creating the look, and then at the very end you will see my look. But I'm gonna do a combo of two palettes. I am doing the Sumerian Sunset by Adept, and then I'm also going to use the Pumpkin Kisses and Autumn Wishes by MBA Cosmetics. Um, both of these actually showed up in my recent video of Thanksgiving palettes, eyeshadow palettes that you could use. So I already have a video on all of those, but these were in there and I thought, okay, let's just do a combo. So these are the two I'm going to be using while I am chit-chatting. All right, so question number one was... Um, have you ever done a Friendsgiving or do you do a Friendsgiving? Something like that. And you know what? It sounds crazy, but no, I've never really done a Friendsgiving. And I was kind of thinking, I'm like, I wonder why that is. I mean, I have friends, obviously, but I think Friendsgiving wasn't a huge thing when I was younger. Like, let's say late teens, early 20s, I think it became more popular maybe in my mid 20s, late 20s. And I think I just, you know, got married, had kids, and it just never really came up. But I love the idea. I think it's really, really fun. Um, I know families can do them together too, like joint families. To me, that's a little chaotic, a little crazy. I would feel bad for anyone that has to host like that many families with that many kids running around. But I like the idea of just a separate, you know, friends getting together. Now I am getting together where we were kind of going to call it a Friendsgiving, but um, with some friends in a couple of days to do like a Christmas craft and wear your ugly Christmas sweater. Um, so we kind of changed it from a Friendsgiving to that. But as far as an official Friendsgiving, Never done it. Okay, the next question was an eyeshadow palette that makes you think of a Thanksgiving feast, or I guess like the color story of it looks like a Thanksgiving feast. So I grabbed this one, but then I was like, well, the one I'm using kind of also reminds me of it, but the Maneater um, After Dark, I chose this one because you have like the yellowy browns in here make me think of the dressing, the brown browns make me think of like toasted rolls and maybe even the turkey like this sort of looks like turkey meat depending you know dark meat white meat um this is a little mauvey purpley instead of being cranberry but if it was cranberry that could be the color you got one pop of green in there you know i know on a lot of people's plates it's like brown and yellow with some cranberry sauce and then there's like a little bit of green on there so i think this one looks like a thanksgiving feast but then also the um Pumpkin Kisses Autumn Wishes to me kind of encompasses that as well. I mean, this is called, the shade is called Cranberry. You have the orange like pumpkin-y pie. You've got a little bit of brown in there. And then you've got the pop of green in this one as well. So I think both of these count. All right, and I'm going to dip into this one in an orange right here. The peach was from the Sumerian Sunset. 
So the next question is, what beauty product are you the most thankful for? And when I first read these questions, I was like, oh, I'm going to switch this. I'm going to bend the rules and I'm going to talk about perfume. <laughs> but then I read down the list and perfume will come up in the questions. So I was like, all right, all right, I'll stick with beauty product. So the beauty product I'm the most thankful for. That's kind of hard because I'm thankful for eyeshadow palettes because to me, they keep makeup fun um, and interesting and keep me on my toes and make me want to be creative. And I think if it wasn't for fun, different color stories and things like that and how I can change up a look every day with eyeshadow, I would get just really bored with it, to be honest. But then I'm like, okay, but practicality wise, I'm probably really thankful for like foundation, like base coverage, you know? I mean, just, hey, covering up blemishes, redness, um, you know, discoloration, acne, all that stuff. Um, I'm very, very thankful that there's something out there that can just give a girl a little help. Okay, dipping back in here. Now the next question's kind of confusing to me. It is, what is your favorite fall themed product? And I don't know if it means like specifically something that came out that was launched in fall with a fall theme, or if it just means it looks fallish and you wear it during the fall. I'm assuming it probably means you know, it was specifically a fall theme. And I don't know, I mean, other than eyeshadow palettes, I don't really know what else to say. I guess there's some fall lippies sometimes that come out, but I don't know that I've ever purchased or even been gifted a fall themed lipstick. Like Halloween, yes, but this isn't Halloween. This is fall specific, so. I'm just gonna say, say eyeshadow palettes again, and like in general, I love a, a fall themed eyeshadow palette. I love a fall um, color scheme for eyeshadow palettes. I just think it's really pretty. I could go go grab it, but just to save time, like maybe the Hudson Valley palette by Nomad. I just, I think that palette is the most quintessential fall um, when it comes to the packaging, the names, the feel, the theme, the location, like everything about that, that palette says fall time and in like a specific area that I also wish that I could experience myself. I mean, living in West Texas, our fall is, is not that great. It's not that pretty. Our leaves are finally just, I think earlier this week or last week started to change colors. Um, we don't have the gorgeous trees for a long time. You know, ours fall off pretty quickly due to weather. Either we'll get a hard freeze or um, like we had torrential rain the other night. It knocked a lot of the pretty leaves off. So yeah, I would say the Nomad Cosmetics Hudson Valley palette. All right, dipping back in this, I'm gonna go with the cranberry just to tie in a little of that shade. So the next question is, what is your ideal um, color story for the season? And I mean, I think it kind of speaks for itself with the palettes that I'm using. I'm sure some people, you know, that are real, real neutral lovers, they probably still stick to neutrals, but just go some like more warm tones would be my guess. And then, um, you know, some people may think of fall and think earthy, but I definitely think just leaves, you know, I look at whatever nature is doing is the color story that I like for this season. So, um, you know, how the leaves turn the red, orange, kind of deep burgundy to yellow. I think that's my ideal, I guess, like this palette that I'm using right now and saying it's more of like a feast theme. I guess if you're not going completely with the leaves, if you go with, oh, Thanksgiving feast. So that ties in like the cranberry and things like that. So, but yeah, I just, I think the leaves 
is definitely my ideal color story for fall. All right, taking a quick break from the eyeshadow palettes. So the next question is if you could wear any lipstick, it says for the holiday season, forever one lipstick, what would it be? Holiday season makes it almost sound like, when I think holidays, I think more like Christmas holidays, but this is about Thanksgiving. So I'm assuming it means Thanksgiving and any, so many shades that are from this brand. This is Propa Beauty. One of my favorite lipstick brands that I just, I keep like tagging and posting for like, oh, like two years now of like, where is this brand? Like, what are we doing? Cause I have every shade, by the way, this is prime time, but several of her shades would work for Thanksgiving. Um, I love this formula, but she has not come out with a new color. They don't really, they're not really active on social media anymore. And it's, it's the smoothest, most comfortable sort of creamy lipstick formula, but it's her shades that I'm crazy about. So she has some kind of like mustardy browns, some like true brown brown, kind of grungy brown, and then some kind of like warmer tones. This one is such a unique, kind of like a, it's so hard to describe this shade, I feel like. It's not a true like rusty orange. There's like a slight pink quality to this, but truly any, any of her shades almost would work for Thanksgiving time. That whole line is very fall looking. So I think it would be this, but I always add a gloss. I'm not good at putting lipstick on and talking, by the way. I'm horrible at it. Um, I always add a gloss for the day just to make things extra comfortable. I can also speak better for some reason when I wear a gloss because I'm so bad at doing that and talking. So to add a gloss, really anything like shimmery, but I love these, um, the glimmer glosses, super lustrous glimmer glosses from Revlon. I ordered four recently, got them in and I'm loving them. So this is glazed almond. It's really, really pretty. So I would just pop something like this right on top just to give it a little bit of shine and shimmer. But yes, this would be like my ultimate fall. All right, dipping back into the palette now while I answer some more questions, I'm going in with chestnut. So the next question was, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? And you know, I don't have too many we were going to try to start one with our kids a few years ago and it would have been really fun where we called it, I think the Gomez, like thanks, great Gomez Thanksgiving race, something. I don't know, it wasn't just a race. It was like different, different tasks, but it was just for the kids, our three kids. We've always done Thanksgiving with family, but that year was COVID year that I'm talking about. And we decided to do Thanksgiving just at our house all separately, just to be safe. So we didn't want the kids to feel kind of like weird or like, why aren't we with family and sad? So it came up with all these different things they had to do. Like they all three had to draw a turkey and it was like, whoever drew the best turkey. And I think I let like people on Facebook, like friends and family vote on their pictures then they had the turkey trot where they had to run with their like hands like this behind their back, like a little turkey tail the whole time. Um, then the turkey call, which you guys heard my turkey at the beginning of the video. And I take great pride in my turkey call. My, I look crazy when I do it, but hey, no one hardly ever beats me in my turkey. So they, they have to do their turkey call impressions and we were gonna do this every year, but you guys, we really realized that when we are meeting up with family and everything, the day is so nuts. Like we couldn't even fit it. We just couldn't fit it in. It's like chaos trying to get everything ready, get our food that we're taking ready, get out the door, get our three kids out the door, get home. And then it gets dark so early, like the race, it's like chilly. So we haven't done it, but it was going to be a tradition. 
and we really need to try to make it happen. Okay, and fun part, the special shades. So many fun ones in here. I'm like, what do I want to do? They're so shifty. Um, let's see, USS Defiant, perhaps? Okay, so the next question, I kind of giggled to myself because I was like, wait, is that true? It said, most of us don't wear Thanksgiving. I'm totally don't wear Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, I don't think most of us wear Thanksgiving. Most of us don't wear makeup on the holidays. What's one step you can't skip? And I was like, we don't? I mean, I'm a makeup girl. I wear, if I'm, I'm wearing makeup every day. I, I skipped, actually, I skipped yesterday, you guys, because I was decorating for Christmas. So I'm already all decorated behind me here. And I was decorating all day long in filming and um, with not my face on camera. And I went to pick up my kids from school. I had like a little bit of makeup on my face, like nothing on my eyes. My eyebrows weren't done or anything. And I had my sunglasses on and when we got home, I took my sunglasses off and they go, whoa, whoa, we didn't know you were like that under there. <laughs> They're so, I mean, they see me without makeup all the time, but to pick them up from school at that time and to not have makeup on just doesn't happen. So they were like shocked. It was funny. So I am a makeup girl. I always wear makeup. Like actually, I think it's more fun to go full, full glam. By the way, I'm gonna go with um, Paclid, I think. Um, I'm more likely to go even fuller glam on a holiday because yeah, I mean pictures, you aren't getting a camera out and taking a picture of me on Thanksgiving without my glam. It's just, it is not gonna happen. You're gonna have to burn it, burn that picture if you do. Okay, the next question I feel like I already answered is what's your like perfect Thanksgiving color story? And I, I feel like I kinda already answered that, like leaves, like fall leaves, kind of what's going on in my eyes right now. Um, the next question is what food, what food item are you looking forward to the most? I know controversial here, which I don't know if it's that controversial. I've heard it quite a bit in the last couple of years. Okay, hold on real quick. Inner corner pop. I'm gonna go with um, Far Point, I think. I am not a big Thanksgiving food lover. I'm not someone that loves to like eat to the point where I feel sick. I actually hate the feeling of being super full. I don't want to be starving to death, but I don't want to feel like I'm sick to my stomach so full. So Thanksgiving in general is a little like, I don't really eat any differently than I typically do. And I may like protein, lots of veggies and fruits with like small amounts of carbs, just type of girl. That's just how I eat. Um, it's kind of a lifestyle, but it's also just what I crave. So I love turkey. I like the white meat. I don't like the dark meat. Um, I love any of the greens, like the green bean girl is me. I basically the stuff that there's so much left over is what I love. Like if there's a fruit salad, um, I know that's so boring, like a toss salad. That's what I'm eating. I don't eat dressing. I don't eat the rolls. I don't eat mashed potatoes. You guys don't hate me. That's just, I mean, there's a, there's lots of reasons why, like health reasons and everything too, but that's just what I prefer. It's what I actually crave. So I know that's really probably annoying to some people. Okay guys, I think there's like three more questions, but I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my liner lashes and come back and just answer the last couple of questions and wrap up this video. Okay, I'm back with the liner lashes on. The pretty, pretty look. This is a perfect Thanksgiving look. These two palettes, I knew that they would go re really, really well together. So very, very happy. But yes, I have just a few questions left if you wanna stick around and just hear my thoughts. Okay, who in the beauty community would you invite to your Friendsgiving and thanks deserves more recognition? This is really, really hard. <laughs> because I have so many amazing friends that I've made through the beauty community, but also, I know this is about beauty, but also through the fragrance community. Um, but if I had to just say one, and 
please. Like I, I have dear sweet friends who I would kill to have you at my Thanksgiving. Um, people that are like sisters to me, but my friend Sarah, um, known as follow me around 84 on Instagram. She was my first like beauty community Instagram bestie that became like a sister to me. We literally talk every day and have for three and a half years. And um, now she's more fragrance um, and fashion than she is. She's not really into the beauty stuff anymore, but she's she is like a sister to me. Um, so there are so many of you though, but just because like Sarah, I mean, three and a half years of being like internet best friends, of course I would want her at my Thanksgiving table. Um, what is your signature dish you always bring for a potluck dinner? I, I love to cook. I cook at home most evenings, but I will admit I am someone that if I'm invited to somewhere I need to bring something here recently, I'm like, let me just go buy it. I, I just, I don't know. I, I'm like, I'm busy. I'm busy. I know that like you can show your love and appreciation through food, but I'm like, I'd rather just go buy it. I love you, but I will go buy it. Even though I love to cook, I just don't have time. I'm busy. Um, what fragrance or scent is your favorite for the fall season? So I said fragrance was going to come up. Lucky for you guys, I already have a video that actually went up on Sunday. It was a collab with my friend Jamie, known as Not Another Perfume Channel. It has 15 fall, uh, 15 Thanksgiving fragrances for you guys to check out. So tons of info there just to save time on here. If you guys want to go, if you have more time today, you want to waste, chill, go watch that video. I have 15 because fragrance is my deep, deep, deep love. Do you prefer a bold lip or a bold eye for holiday gatherings? Well, to me, it really depends. I mean, today it's kind of both, but like none is like really overpowering the other. I think both of these are fairly bold. I'd say if it's Christmas, it's gonna be a bold red lip and I'm gonna go more sparkly and soft. Thanksgiving, I think it's kind of just, it's like a, a tandem situation. And last but not least, it says, here's the palette that I used and the finished look. So just to reiterate again, the Sumerian Sunset Palette by Adept, and then the NBA Cosmetics Pumpkin, Kish Kishish, Pumpkin Kisses Autumn Wishes. I think this was a gorgeous combo. I loved doing this video. I think Dubs Beauty Diary for asking me to do this. And I just, I think her for, you know, including me for the community, for wrapping your arms around me and embracing me so many years ago. And then you guys too, for supporting me like you do. It means so, so much to me. Um, I've said it at the end of some of my videos recently, not just in this video, but it just, I mean, without you guys watching, without support of the community, like I wouldn't still be here. So it means the world to me. I hope you guys had a lovely, lovely Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.